Season's greetings. It is World Cup season. Bubble, Turkey, and World Cup. Once in a lifetime. Hopefully the only time in our lifetime. The World Cup starts next week. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It is here. The 2022 Qatar World Cup is right around the corner. The teams are in. Everybody is ready and set. People are flying into the Middle East. Qatar 2022. Im- <laughs> Corruption World Cup uh, will be happening, but we will be having our own version of the World Cup. The 2022 return of the third annual Community COVID World Cup Community COVID Shield is back. We're giving away a World Cup jersey to the winner. One of 16 people will win a World Cup jersey uh, of their choosing. So stay tuned to that. We're going to go ahead and talk about everything World Cup again. Uh, Once again, we're going to go ahead and go into who we think is going to be the top two seeds from each group. There are wild lists out there. Get yourself a million dollars if you fulfill the bracket correctly. We're also going to talk about NFL and our pickums in our fantasy league. We got our ass kicked by a terrible team. Um, And the last week of the Premier League, which had weird and wild stuff, especially with Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, ¿Cómo hablas, güey? Okay. (laughs) All right. All right. Um, Uh, Enjoy carrying the rest of the pod, bro. No, okay. Can we... uh, I see Tony for eight hours at work now, and it has not been the most pleasant. He bullies me. I don't like the way you're talking. He shoots me with a Nerf gun, and I'm tired of it. I think I'm going to quit. I mean, <laughs> go for it. Just tells me that you You can. like working with me, boys? I forgot you worked with the, me completely I showed up this morning, day. and he's there in his desk. He's like, oh, I forgot you worked here. Like, like you surprised me. Like, it was it was wild. Wow. What's this? That's just this audio. Don't worry about Let's it, boy. That's, that's not copyrighted? It's, no, it's no. not, actually. I don't think it's copyrighted. Um, oh, he's a YouTuber. I don't think he would, right? Oh, he's not. He's a, he's a good boy. He's he a, 13 he's a child. A child. This guy is 17, bro. It's crazy. He's a Ronaldo fan, but he has a messy tattoo. And he's gone twice to watch Man U play. And you know, well, that's time Ronaldo's not guy. there. <laughs> and, and not only that, he's probably never going to play for Manchester United ever again. Yeah. <sighs> man. Oh, Costa man. Rico. Costa Rico. <laughs> yeah, some pronunciation of his are weird. Uh, Dude, as you guys you, can tell, yeah. World Cup is here. Are you excited? Is it finally hitting? Or not yet? Because you're a big World Cup fan. That, you're the biggest World Cup fan that I know. I honestly, yeah, that's but actually not, not, it's not a bad shout. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I, is it finally hitting? Because it's, it's been weird to you. You've <laughs> expressed this over and over again. Is it finally hitting that the World Cup starts in a week? I think it is. It's just weird. Like, I, I feel weird about it. Like, it's cold outside. And, like, it feels like another European tournament. It just, it's just... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it always works. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it, it, it's a real, real fun time around these times. But I don't know, like, it just doesn't feel the same. It, it really just doesn't. I'm gonna enjoy it either way. It's a world, you know. Do I not enjoy the Euros just because Mexico's not in it? Like, no, like I enjoy it. I yeah, really yeah. like it. Like, it's still the most prestigious. It's tournament. still, yeah, it's still the same tournament held in a very remote area and and place. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so World Cup is here. Um, As if you can't tell, we're rooting for Mexico. Yes, uh, Brazil. Maybe Tony's second team. I mean, we're going to talk about our brackets because we filled out the the, Oof, the yes. brackets. And my, um, mine is super realistic. Like it's going to happen. For is sure. it, was that is that the first thing on the, on the on the dock? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, is we can do bra- we can do brackets first. Oh, do you want to do teams first? <laughs> Up to you. I think we should do teams. Ro- uh, roster. Should, all right. Yeah. So teams have officially dropped their rosters. I think one of the only countries that hasn't is Iran. Uh, they have their own shit going on. Yeah. No, they got like they got some. Well, there's there's 15,000 people that are not making the World Cup. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> not saying you're right. You're not saying you're not, not wrong. Not, not. I'm correct. Um, but yeah, so we have the rosters for the World Cup uh, for various teams, right? So yeah. let's start all the way from the top. We got a good little graphic here from the boys, uh, from our, our our partners in crime, ESPN. Yeah, so ESPN dropped them. Uh, each group, they dropped an alphabetical order. So we'll start with Ecuador from Group A. Uh, there's going to be teams that were like, you know, let's just kind of see names that we recognize. Yeah. 
Because there's a lot of players from smaller countries that honestly, yeah, honestly unless you play, play Ultimate Team like Die Hard, you might know a lot more. I I, I can't tell you anybody from Ener Valencia. Ener Valencia, okay. Ener okay. Valencia, yeah. That's it from from uh, Romario Ibarra, Ibarra. You know, he's uh, Mexican league. And that's uh, it. And yeah, other than that, Ecuador. Oh, I don't Estupi, think Estupipan is a uh, left back that plays at uh, Albion. Uh, the, the little the little birdies. El, 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 he plays in the Premier League. Oh, okay. I, I was like, Albion San Diego? What? <laughs> no kinds. <laughs> no kinds. Uh, uh, but yeah, Ecuador, place. probably not going to go very far. You got Netherlands, who have a pretty, pretty impressive team. This goalkeeper, Pazvir. He's a 37-year-old that barely made his debut, plays for Ajax. I love that. Like, bro, it gives you hope. <laughs> it gives me hope. It gives you hope. If I get the surgery, hey, in, in, in two years' time, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in World Cup shape. By 35, you can be, like, a goalkeeper, third goalkeeper for Loyal. Uh, you got Virgil third. van Dijk. Excuse me, oh, my bad. third? My bad, starting. Watch your mouth. Virgil van Dijk, arguably one of the best defenders. In I mean, the world right yeah. Now. I mean, if if we go by names, right? Like it has a lot of lot of good names here in defense. You have Nathan Nake who plays in former Chelsea boy, a former Chelsea boy plays in Manchester City. Daily Blind, uh, Daily Blind, experienced center back. He's very, just very, very, very experienced. Uh, you know, of of Ajax fame. Um, looking over at uh, De Vrij is a is a good uh, defender. Uh, I forgot about Dumfries. What a right like right back position that he he, he played a great uh, Euros. Yeah. So uh, Malasia, another Manchester United boy. Uh, okay. And then uh, Jeremy Fringbong, who a uh, former uh, Arsenal, now plays in the Bundesliga, the right back. Super fast, super well. Uh, Probably composed. their best midfielder, Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong for uh, the Netherlands. Uh, a good, um, just, you know, he's yeah. running the show. He's he's the puppet master. They're um, just getting a called up player from Ajax who's been killing it this season. Honestly, yeah, we'll deserve call up. Uh, other than the midfield, you have Chabi Simons, 19 year old, uh, plays for uh, PSV, I believe. Uh, Eindhoven. I think he's either on loan or he got sold from PSG, and he's, he's a he's a prodigy that they're looking for. And he's getting called 19. up at 19. Wow, that's awesome. You have Memphis Depay, Memphis Eric Wynn from Ajax. Okay. You have Luke the Young, Luke. experience. That's kind of like our Luke the Juke the Young. Yeah, like that's kind of like if Mexico called Chicharito, right, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if they called them. Uh, but yeah, those are Mark pretty Horst. much the notables. Honestly, I'm gonna skip guitar because I do. You, I don't I'm know at, a single. No, I don't know a single player. player. Let's let's see if FIFA knows him. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, yeah. you have Senegal who. Mandia goalkeeper. They're the champions of Africa. Like Mandia goalkeeper. Very few players. Very few players in the history. Damn. Uh, but yeah, Senegal, Senegal, Senegal. Koulibaly, your boy, center back. Not the best season at Chelsea, but he's still a key factor for Senegal. Yeah, so he's going to be uh, very important in that defense. Uh, Kalidou Koulibaly, without a picture apparently. Uh, ESPN do better. But the champions of... The Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah. I've gone. Yeah. Uh, you have Gaye, uh in the midfield uh, from PSG. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's, it, gay, yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. player, right? That yeah. that refused to play uh, because the team was going to play with like a rainbow flag or something like that. Oh yeah, he just, yeah. He, yep. it was a that's, belief, that's so, him. Right? And then Koulibaly was like, "I back you up, sir." So yeah, very yeah. well, <laughs> these two are going to be very well welcomed in Qatar. You have Sadio Mane, who's in the call up. He got injured. There was. Questions I you didn't know. I told you this morning. Man is on there. Yeah, I thought I, th I thought he, I surprised. thought it was out. I thought it was out. Skis like so he's on there. Who knows? He's kind of like Jimenez from Mexico. You know, like he might be injured. Uh, moving on to Group B, we got England. You, I think you ranked them very high. I ranked them pretty high. This is this is uh, English they're the team, runner ups of the Euro English team that uh that have done. Well, recently in international in international games, uh, Jordan Pickford, you know the goalkeepers Ramsdale. Uh, it's it's just it's just not the best Every to pick of. They always have yeah. very good international uh, goalkeepers yeah. in the Premier League. Uh, defender uh, Trippier, who had a resurgence. Trent Alexander Arnold, who hasn't been playing his best. Kyle Walker from Manchester City, very a very good. Older, but uh, still, still captain, capitaning. Is he captain Maguire? No, right? No, Maguire from England. Wouldn't dare. I don't think he'll be the captain. John Stones also there in the in the backfield with from Man City. Yeah, Luke Shaw. 
doing an, another appearance. Mm-hmm. And Midfielders. Then, yeah, you got Declan Rice, who there's interest from other teams, mm-hmm. but uh, they want to sell him really high. You have Jude Bellingham, the prodigy, the talent yeah. from Dortmund. Excellent yeah. season he's having. Very good season. Calvin Phillips, who has not had any minutes. No minutes. With City. Like, he's been hey. injured. He's just been on the bench. Like, Talk to Tata about that. Jordan Henderson, I mean, kind of revived his uh, career when Klopp arrived to Liverpool. Uh, Connor Gallagher, again, There's, I think there's other options. And then, yeah, Mason Mount. I mean, deserved. Yeah, Deservedly. 100%. He's been probably one of Chelsea's best players this season. Uh, you got Harry Kane, Callum Wilson, Marcus Rashford, Raheem Sterling. Obviously, notable players. Buka Yosaka, the youngster from Arsenal. Phil Foden, uh, up there with one of the best in the world right now. Yep. Jack Grealish. I mean, you got to have a Carita in your team, you know? $100 million man. And James Madison, who did pick up an injury. Who knows? Hopefully, he is able to go to the World Cup. But I think this guy's the most disturbing call-up because he's put in so much work with Leicester City. Yeah. Players missing from England, Tony. No, Jaden Sancho. He yeah. Hasn't, he hasn't ha- proved it. Of course, Manchester United doesn't have the caliber of players. But then, do you have players from England, like uh-huh. young def- that are playing in the Serie A, mm-hmm. and they're not getting called up? Oh, Tammy, Abraham. Tammy Chris Abraham, Smalling, Tammy Abraham, like Reese James. I saw a TikTok of a guy. Yeah, Reese James injured. Reese James. I saw a TikTok of a guy with the theory saying that England does not call up players; they're not allowed to if they don't play in the Premier League. Bellingham's there. That's a good point. <laughs> there you go. It's a good that, point. I mean, that's there, valid there, now. That's, Shit. That, well, there goes that conspiracy there theory. There you go. <laughs> uh, talking about conspiracy theories and uh, what are they up to, Iran uh, may, may have some of these players there, may not. Some of these players called up, magically disappeared because they stood up for what's right in this world. So I can't tell you much about Iran. Check out the boy Shayan from Next Gen Podcast, Next Gen Football. Yeah. Uh, um, he, he's the boy. Ooh, us, ah. Ooh, us, ah. A, a lot of people were upset at, at call ups. I mean, uh, they didn't call Stefan, the goalkeeper for Man City. No, pe- he no, sucks. No, Pepe. He sucks. No, no Pepe. Pepe. You got this. Uh, Team Ream is a really good center back. He's the captain for Fulham. Like, he almost scored a man U. Like, I think he must, he has to be a start. You got Yetlin, co owner of San Diego Loyal, uh, and the team was happy about that. Uh, uh, yeah. Is he? I would I would I would have thought Loy would have made some sort of like announcement. Like, is that over now? Like, no, I think once you're a corner, you're a corner, right? Like, it's not like a season thing. It's not like a season pass. <laughs> season pass. Yeah. Uh, you got Aronson, Tyler Adams, uh, Luca de la Torre from uh, San Diego. So shout out Luca de la Torre. Yep, San Diego boy, San only, Diego native. Only player I think from the US that I'll be rooting for. Tata Mela. Says Ricardo the Virgen. We will get there. We will get there. Weston McKinney. Uh, you got the LeBron James of soccer. The LeBron James of soccer. And I think Gio Reyna Christian could Pulisic. have a, a really nice World Cup. Uh, there's always youngsters that shine in the World Cup. He could be one of them and then get a better look from another team. That dude, that dude is good. I'm not going to give you. Like, he's good. But Ricardo Pepe. Que culeros, no? He actually just scored today, too. That's um, fucked up. That's, I mean... Hey, that's your boys. That's your boys. And uh, we're going to get a, a look into uh, what a one uh, U.S. men's national team legend yeah. has this team without those important players in the U.S. getting to moving this to, World Cup. Yeah, moving on to Wales. You got, I mean, again, there's a lot of players that uh, are not as popular. You got Davis from Tonaghan. Giggs? Where's, uh, where's uh, Aaron Ramsey, who hopefully doesn't score because then someone's going to die. Uh, and then you got... Garrett Bell, winner of the MLS Cup, scorer of the tying goal in the like MLS that. Cup. I like that. First if, of his name. <laughs> what if Garrett Bell Born just, to the Red Dragons, uh, to the golf heads of Wales. First of his name, yes. Gareth, conqueror of the Major League Trophy. Uh-huh. Imagine he kicks the U.S. out. I would love that. That would be great. I would love that. Moving on to Group C, Argentina, Argentina. favorites to win the World Cup. Favorites. Uh, you got Martinez, really good goalkeeper. Okay. 
gets in people's heads. Uh, really not bad for Sociedad and Armani with probably the strongest last name. You got my boy Lisandro Martinez. Yo también is on the call up. Tagliafico still on there. Historically, uh, defensively no, and goalkeeper weak, is right? always the, the, the weakest. Weakness. Midfield yes. up is is where Argentina is really, really Let's look at these names, right? Yeah. R Rodrigo de Paul. Paredes, Paredes, McAllister, yeah. Guido Rodriguez, <gasps> Papu Gomez, Enzo Fernandez, Ezequiel Palacios. How many names of those did you recognize? Uh, De Paul, Paredes, uh -huh. yep. Palacios. Guido Rodriguez, I recognize. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's not like... But then you look at the forwards. Who yeah. could play, like, midfield? <laughs> <almost>. <laughs> yeah. Lionel Messi, Angel Di Maria, Lautaro Martinez, Julian Alvarez, Paulo Dybala, Nicolás González, Joaquín Correa. Correa kicks my ass in FIFA. Whenever Correa is a fucking beast. He's yeah. nasty. Uh, but this I mean, is, this is one of the favorite teams. This is one of the favorite teams. Like, is it's the Messi's depth last there? chance? Can Messi? I don't know. I don't think so. Can I mean, if he wins the World Cup or Ronaldo wins the World Cup, we'll get to Ronaldo. He's not doing too good right now. That would end the goat debate, right? If they get on World yeah. Cup, so could Messi seal the deal? He yeah, has the best chance, probably. Let's look at Mexico because we're going to dive in on this one. No Carlos Acevedo. I, I at least would have loved a young goalkeeper to get that experience instead of Cota or Talavera. Ochoa has to be there because Ochoa has that reputation of turning into Buffon and Casillas and a bunch of players like, in the World super, Cup. super, super Which I, I hate that people are hyping that up now, random people on social media, because then he might not do too good. But you defenders, you got Kevin Alvarez, a hell of a season, already taking uh, looks from European teams as well mm -hmm. uh, with Pachuca. Nestor Araujo, I don't know, not feeling it. I get it, respect the name, but I don't think he'll get minutes. Gerardo Arteaga, again, European player from, uh, 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 what's it called? Greece with mm -hmm. Genk. Uh, I hope he starts. You have Gallardo from Monterrey, shit. Hector Moreno from Monterrey, shit, old. Cesar Montes from Monterrey. Young, promising, though. I want him to start. Jorge Sanchez, our best right back, probably, in Ajax. Mm -hmm. You have to start him. Johan Vasquez. Who just got smoked. Johan Vasquez? Uh, Jorge Sanchez in the, champion, in the Champions League. Oh, that was like two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three weeks, weeks ago, I think. Yeah, he's over it. It's Johan funny. Vasquez went to a different team, but still a talented center back. You kind of have to start him. Midfielders, the boy Edson Alvarez. The best player Mexico has yeah. is Edson Alvarez. He's the most valuable He's a must start. Roberto Alvarado from Chivas. Who? El Piojo Alvarado. Okay. Instead of Lainez. Uh, Lainez of Real Betis. Not Real uh, Betis. And uh, este, uh, pa, 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 no, he, no he, of, of, of fame of Real Betis. Yeah. Formerly of Real Betis, now playing in. I forgot the name, but it's, uh, uh, it's a small team. Yeah, but, but he's still, still in Europe. Starting. He scored recently. He's a good well. player. El Factor. Martinoles Factor no va a estar en el Mundial. Like, how? And Piojo didn't have the best season with Chivas. It's crazy. Uriel Antuna. Tata Boy. just loves Antuna for some reason. I, I, I get it. He's fast. He can, you can utilize him because teams don't know him. Whatever. I get it. Luis Chavez. <laughs> no footage on the boy. Luis Chavez. This guy is skyrocketing his value. He went from Cholos to Pachuca, and in Pachuca, he started killing it. Ooh. He... He is dope. He's really good. If I would, I wish he could start with Edson in midfield, but we'll see. Guardado, who said that in Mexico, he feels like a like a dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> they treat him like a dinosaur. They give him more respect in 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 La that's Liga. What you are. If you were at the level of Modric or some shit, then we can respect you at your age. Watch him prove you wrong. I hope so. I really hope so. Eric Gutierrez, Guti, great season with PSV. Kind of establishing himself in Europe, honestly. Ache Ache, what the hell is he doing there? Dinamo FC, bro. Houston Dinamo. He still, he still got it, bro. Ugh. He still got it. We'll see. Orbelin Pineda. Ooh, he's playing he's in been, Europe he's as well. Called up. Yeah, so Charlie Rodriguez kind of ghost this season. Really didn't do much, but I mean, it's a there, player that but there trust. he is. Luis Romo, shit, why is he starting? Uh, why is he in the, in the call-up? I hate this. I hate this. I hate this, Tony. Luis Romo had potential and just absolutely give it away. Forwards, Funes Mori. 
We all know why Funes Mori's on there, right? You know why. Because it's compa and compatriota. It's Argentino. It's Argentino. It's Argentino like, igual que el tata. Mexican. Like, They're both Argentinians. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh my God. Che, Whatever. Raul Jimenez. We all saw the video. He can't pick up his freaking leg. You saw the video, right? Of him warming up? Yeah. He can't do a simple warm up. He's... He, he it, said it before, like, if he if himself doesn't feel ready, he'll step down. And He's worse than post-guns uh, Salvador Cabañas. <sighs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Chucky Lozano, been killing it with oh, that. Oh, Jesus, he's, 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 he's... He has to be the hero. Por favor. Along with Alexis Vega, please. La Bomba Martin. Andre Martin. I would start him over the other two right now. Damn. I really would. But if Jimenez is healthy and he can play and he can run and he can move his leg, mm -hmm. I'll start Jimenez. Alexis Vega, papi. <laughs> Alexis Vega is going to be the hero. Vega. I feel like he's gonna be the hero teams of are going to look at him and say, who the heck is this guy? I want him. He's going to be that player that just teams want to get. So we'll see how this goes. So man. where are you going to tattoo the names of all these players when they win the World Cup? No, no, no. I'll get the trophy. With the names that etched on it? Where, where are you going to get the trophy? La pura pancita. Hell yeah. Poland, our <sighs> nemesis for the first game. Uh, Chesney? Chesney? Warshik Chesney. 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 Good goalkeeper. Have you seen the video? What video? Are you always showing me some stupid videos, bro? What is this? What are, what are you showing me? Is it a song? It's not copyrighted, is it? What is this? You ever seen this? No. Hi guys. Thank to all of you that entered the fighting chance competition. Hey. The boys and I have chosen a top three, which we're going to perform for you today. You know I like music, so where's my song? This used to be the Arsenal Maybe team, bro. Ready, guys? Yeah! One, this isn't it. Okay, I was like, whoa, what the heck are you showing me right now? <laughs> oh, this is, that was it. <laughs> they call me Shesmi. <laughs> oh, gosh. And, and uh, Alexis Vega is going to score a hat trick on, on, on that guy, on that man. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Uh, other players uh, from Poland, who do you have? Like Kaminski? Uh, Milk. Milk. Oh, Milk. yeah. Milk. Robert Lewandowski. Oh, who? Lewandowski. Who? Uh, uh, Barcelona have ruined him. I'm not too scared of him now. Uh, he'll probably still score three on Mexico. Bro, but uh, he's knows. actually pretty, like, when he plays well at Barcelona, like, yeah, no, yeah, I know. he plays well. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Do you know any players from Saudi Arabia? Um, let me get to there. I, I really don't know any players. Uh, Mohammed. Nice. Nice. It's <laughs> <laughs> the most common name, guys. Uh, oh, uh, Al. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That was pretty, do pretty good. Moving on to Group D, Australia. It's not really the same team anymore. The Socceroos. It, it's not really Mike. like. I mean, do you know any players? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, one actually. Um. Oh no, he's not on there. No, I know who you're talking about too. Who am I talking about? That forward. What's his name? McLaren. Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> Denmark, uh, Kasper Schmeichel, a goal. Kasper Schmeichel saw his owner come down on a helicopter and try to run and save him at Leicester. That's wild. Yeah, Poor you got Andreas Christensen. I mean, notable players played for Barcelona and Chelsea. Yep, good center back. Uh, Thomas Delaney, Christian Daniel, Eriksen. Daniel Vaz is actually a really good player, converted into a defender. He was a yeah. center defensive mid, played in La Liga. Very, very good. Delaney, good player. Uh, Christian Eriksen is... Doing pretty good. He got an assist. Uh, health wise, assist health wise he's doing pretty good. God, I this hope past so. Weekend, yeah. Uh, you got Hulch, I don't know. I don't Hulchberg. know. Hulchberg's actually really good. <laughs> I don't know what Qatar's uh, cardio facilities entail, but I, I hope they're a top notch. Yeah, and then you have, I mean, Damsgaard, but 
Yeah, so, I mean, Braith, Braithwaite. Oof, like, Vafu disappeared. Yeah, exactly. So, France, defending champions. Only vous français, Areola, Hugo Yolis. Steve and Mandanda. Steve Mandanda, one of my favorite names. Yeah, Mandanda. Mandanda. He, and, you see, and you look at him, I'm like, oh, yeah. este vato, este vato pinche. This team definitely has, like, the most stacked squad, right? You have Lucas Hernandez, you have Teo Hernandez, Conate, Conde, Pavard, Saliba, Upamecano, and Rafa Varane. Like, Pavard scoring w- one of the most beautiful goals in World Cup history. Yeah. yeah. Midfielders, you got new youngsters because Pogba, Kante were out. But you got Camabinga, you got Fofana. You have Rabio, Rabio somehow probably going to be in the starting lineup. You have Arlen Tuch. I never know how to pronounce his name. Tuch. Chomeni. 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 But, oh, but this forward list. Karim Again, Benzema. Again, what? Uh, like, if you think about it, like, as a whole, right? You look at the, the starting defenders, midfielders, and goalkeeper for Argentina. So far, I think France is kicking ass. Yeah. But then you get to the forwards too. But then you, you have, have you have youngsters in the midfielder. Ball. I could always. Yeah, you do. But then you have ballers up on you top. You have current Ballon d'Or holder. Eddie Benzema. Yeah. And he, and guess what, boy? Uh, yeah. What's up? I mean, I mean, keep going, keep going. It's like it's, you got Kingsley Coleman, Dembele, Giroud, who is a few goals away from being the all-time leading scorer for France. Isn't that crazy? I've always said Giroud is the most underrated striker in the world. It's that time again, bro. Like, it, and it's in the. It's close to the winter. Yeah, I mean, this yeah, is yeah. this is the type of Benzema you're gonna get. <laughs> you got Antoine Griezmann, Kylian Mbappe, Nkunku, and Marcos Thuram. Like, bro, this is a stacked team with a lot of injuries. Like, that's crazy. A lot of injuries. A lot of injuries. A lot of injuries. Lot of injuries. So, we'll see. We'll see how how they do. Uh, Tunisia. Uh, la bola, wey. Let's see uh, one. I'm trying. Let's find one. Come on, come on. I recognize. I do not recognize a single one of these. Me ones. Damn. Moving on to the Ticos in Group E. Keylor Navas, a hero, national hero. Yeah, of course. Um, but, I mean, the best player in Coca-Cola history. Brian Oviedo, good defender. But is this the same Costa Rica as four years ago? It's don't think so. No, Brian Ruiz is still there. Joel old Campbell, ass, old ass Brian Ruiz. Don't, they're missing another boy. He's probably retired already. No, he was young. He, he used to play. It was it Joel Campbell who played at Arsenal. Yes, and he plays for Leon and then moved to. Who does Campbell play for right now? I forgot who he plays for right now. Oh no, Germany. That's a, that's a copyrighted song. When I get older, I will yep, be stronger. Yep, yep, yep. Some call me free. Uh, we got Germany. Who? Like I think they're flag. a little, a little pretty f- strong this season, this World Cup. You got Neuer on goal, Ter Stegen, Kevin Trapp on goal. You got Ginter, Rudiger, Sule. Uh, cool I, got, I, 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 you got, I this. got this. Yeah. I got this. Gunter, <clears throat> Manuel Neuer, Mark Andres Ter Stegen, Kevin Trapp, Matthias Ginter, Antonio Rudiger, Niklas Sule, Nico Schlotterberg, Tico Kerr, David Rom, Lucas Klosterman, Armel Bera Kochap. And Christian Gunter. That's pretty good. I know. Let me try. Ilkay Gundogan, Jonas Hoffman, Leo Goreska, Serge Gnabry, Leroy Sane, Jama Musiala, you sing it like Joshua you. Kimmich, Make it German. Kimmich, Thomas Kimmich. Miller, Thomas Julius <laughs> Brandt, Thomas, <laughs> Mario Gotze. Mario Gotze is in the freaking lineup, Tony. Ilkay He's Gundogan. in the call up. Mario Gota hasn't played with them since 2014. Jamal Musiala, youngster. He's going to be the next big thing in in, in, wow. in midfield history. Yeah. Uh, Mario Gotze. Gotze in the lineup. He's going to win it for them. That's crazy. That's crazy. After Kai Havertz. Mo Coco, 16-year-old or 17 now. Mo Coco from our, uh, Dortmund. This kid is fast. And he's good. And he's scoring goals. Furgur and you got Adeyemi, who he's been tearing it up with Leipzig. If he's still. Pretty sure he's still Leipzig. But... Solid team from Germany. Some youngsters, some experienced players. Thomas Mueller is obviously going to play a big role there. Yamokoku yeah, 17, actually. Yes. All right. So we're 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 now to Japan. Uh, you know, Japan, Germany once teamed up and didn't go so well for them. Uh, quick shout out to uh, Ash Ketchum, finally becoming a world champion. That's wild. It's wild that he finally, finally it, did it. Unfortunately, still at 10 years old. 
25 year career spanning for a 20 10 year old that's that's impressive yep um shout out to everybody in the chat yeah rosiki back then uh the biggest injuries back in the day just some of the comments yes funes mori is 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 in this unfortunately um yeah bro. oh javi is in here so yeah we're gonna oh, go ahead and, up, and be doing the World Cup draw to see which yes. team goes to who. We'll be tagging uh, guys right in the for bits. everyone's uh, Twitter handles or social media handles, so we'll be tagging you guys All kinds well. of such. Uh, Japan, um, Google is on here. Doris? <laughs> no. Um, what? Cool, what Teru? If, if <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, oh, no. Don't get us canceled here. We're, 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 I'm going to do one. Do you want me to do forwards or midfielders or defenders? Forwards. All right. Daisen Maeda. Takuma Asano, Shuto Machino, Aise Auda. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Like the midfielders, <laughs> Wataru Endo, Hidemasa Morita, Ao Tanaka, Gaku Shibasaki, Kaudo Mitamota, Oh Mitoma, Duishi Kamada, Ritsu Doan, Junya Ito, Takumi Minamido, Takafusa Kubo, Yuki Soma. You're gonna get us canceled. That was incredibly accurate. Let's go to Spain. Uh, because uh, where's Spain? All right, oh, okay, goalkeeper. Una, you see, uh, no David De Gea, no Sergio Ramos. Good, good. Uh, Sergio Ramos watching it from no home. Thiago Alcantara. Uh, injured, I mean, they didn't have minutes. Who captains this? Carvajal, no, Spilicueta, or Jordi Alba, mm. or Busquets. Maybe Bus- this team? May- maybe Busquets, but if Aspilicueta is a starter, I I, w- I would want Aspilicueta. I would really? want that spirit in there. You think Very- he starts? No. Think Aspilicueta starts? No. Hopefully he does. Um, yeah, I mean, you have youngsters like yes, Gabi, very young squad. Pedri, Coque. No, Coque is an ancien. He's old. Ferran yeah. Torres is still pretty young. Nico Williams. You got Morata in there. You got Asensio. Danny almost pretty good. Anso Fati, I mean, very young, very young player. Uh... I think they'll surprise. I don't think they'll dominate, but they'll definitely get maybe to quarterfinals. Well, see, I don't know if I have like that in my. Yeah, we'll check. We'll check out the brackets bracket, right, yeah. right quick. Thibaut Courtois, Simon, uh, Simon Mignolet, and Castiles for Belgium are the goalkeepers, defenders: Jan Berthongen, Anderville, uh, De Con. What was that one? De Donker. De Donker. Uh, Zeno. Wow, dope name. Behas. Zeno. Um, let's see, midfielders that of note, Witzel, still on there, Tielemans, all right. Oh, Tielemans is so good. Yeah, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, best midfielder in the world, Yannick Carrasco of uh, Atletico Madrid, mm-hmm. Thorgan Hazard uh, for Borussia, uh, pa, 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 pa. I can't say his name, Meunier? Meunier. Meunier, yeah, Meunier, uh, notable there. Romelo Lukaku, who is injured, Michi Bachuai, uh, former Chelsea, uh, then you got Eden Hazard. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Dries Mertens and Trossard. Yeah. Like, this is the last chance Belgium has. Is this, this golden era? It's going the, bye-bye. It's, yeah, this is it. If they don't win it here, they're never going to win it. Uh, speaking of never going to win it, uh, Canada. Canada. Winning the first place in the CONCACAF. The best team, The apparently. best team in the CONCACAF. Según, según. Uh, but we'll see how they do. Uh, Hutchinson in there. Obviously, you have... Uh, the boy, uh, what is he going to even play? They have Alfonso Davis as a forward they here. They have him as a forward. Is, is, that, forward? is that where they're using him? Maybe. You have Jonathan David, who's also very, very good. But obviously, Alfonso Davis is the star in this team. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, they play very well together. That's why they won the CONCACAF. They were the best they team. They were the best team. So they were the best team. Watch out. Watch out for Canada. Oh, watch out, watch out. Croatia. Croatia. Defending runner-ups. Yep. It's not the same. They're older, but a lot of those players are still there. Yeah, Dejan Lovren still there. Uh, so you have that experience. You got Luka uh, Modric, Modric, 37. Still playing 37, well. 38 year old. You got, you, got, you got some youth and some uh, other like mid players. Brozovic playing well in Italy. is on there. Pasalic, a good player. Um, Ivan Perisic in the forwards. Like, yep. That who's been playing forever. Yeah, so I mean, I don't think they're going to be as strong as they were or su- as surprising. It's 2018, but you still got to give them that you guys were the runner-ups four years ago, you know? That little merit. Morocco. Do you know any players from Morocco? Yes. Uh, Hakimi. Hakimi. Oh, Sijek. And Sijek. So two Hakimi that, I, that I recognize. 
Are they going to make an impact for their team? Hopefully, uh, but not going to move far at all. Yeah. Speaking of depth, you want to hear depth? Let me hear depth. Let me, you hear this, depth? Is, this is your second team. Alison, Ederson, Weberton as goalkeepers, defenders. <laughs> That's a funny name, <laughs> Weberton. Weberton. <laughs> <Que> Weber. <laughs> hey, Weberton. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Pumas, Liga MX. Outstanding player of the season. I don't know. He didn't no, do, he he didn't do didn't shit. Do shit. He made the uh, team worse. Dani Alves, surprising. 39 leadership. years old. They need somebody to play the. I think he, he's the, the oldest player in the World coming Cup down, this year. Coming down from the. You know how the. Ain't that some shit, Tony? Dani Alves is the oldest player in the World Cup. That's wild. We're old. <laughs> You're old. We're old. The fuck? Uh, don't, don't bring me into your. Hey. Uh, okay, so then you have uh, Danilo, Alexandro, Alex Tellez, uh, Bremer, Eder, Militao, Marquinhos, and Thiago Silva as defenders. Depth. What I loved about Depth. Brazil is literally uh, all their players got like recorded themselves like hearing this. Yeah. It's such a big deal in Brazil, yeah. like yeah. getting called up. Even Neymar, like he's with his son and just like watching, Neymar didn't like, know if he, he was going to get called yeah, up. Yeah, you like, don't know? Yeah. You, did, like, you have no idea. Um, Midfielders, the uh, Newcastle boys, midfielder, good midfielder. Uh, Bruno uh, Guimaraes, Casemiro, Everton Ribeiro, Fabinho, Fred, and Lucas Paqueta. Paqueta's good. Really good. Paqueta's good. Very Premier League heavy midfield. Yeah. Uh, attackers, you have Anthony, my boy. Gabriel Jesus, Martinelli, the surf call up, but he's been great for Arsenal as well. Neymar, Pedro, Rafinha, Rafinha, who's been sensational with Barca as well. Richarlison, Rodrigo, Richon. and Vini Jr. Stacked. Stacked, bro. Stacked. They're stacked everywhere. There's like, not a weak spot in this team. There's not a weak spot in this maybe team. Maybe at the right back position with Danilo, but... Okay, like, yeah. Yeah, like, sure. that's the weakest sure. side. That is the weakest side, but, I mean, you're going to have to keep up. Um, okay, Cameroon. Uh, Onana, he, he's, a, he's a good... He used oh, to play Nana. for... Um, yeah, he used to play. Uh, he got suspended for a year for PEDs. We used to play for yeah. in Ajax. Maxim uh, Chopomoting, who's been killing it with yeah, Bayern Munich. He's been so. doing really well with Bayern. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm pretty sure that's, that's yeah. all I recognize for there. Serbia, a couple of highlights. Uh, Mitrovic. Uh, I, think, I think they can surprise. I think Milenkovic Savic. Savic is really good. Uh, I really think they can, like, Make they have impact. a strong I think team. They, I think they can go second place. Pretty good. Vlahovic, Mitrovic, uh, Luka Jovic. Ilik is good. They Ilic. have a solid team, actually. Yeah. They have a solid That's team. And they're strong. They're fast and strong. Switzerland, uh, good goalkeeper with uh, Sommer there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Looking at that lineup. Switzerland, yeah. Like uh, Granit Xhaka, Mbolo. maybe. Uh, Serdan Shakiri still making that team. Mm -hmm. Playing in the MLS. Granit Xhaka. Yep, Chaka. Uh, ba, ba, ba. You got him. Oh, the boy from uh, the Chelsea. Did he not get called? I guess not. That's your boy. Uh, I mean, he's on. He's just on loan, but getting to Group I H, Ghana. Pierde. Ghana <laughs> pierde. Uh, Andrew Andrea Yu on there. Legend, uh, legend. Former Chelsea played at Swansea forever. Other players from here, not like players that. I can't, yeah, I, can't, I don't have a lot of insight, but. Portugal. Uh, okay, yeah, Portugal. I think before the Ronaldo interview, which we're gonna get to after this whole World Cup talk, like I think they had a a really good chance. Uh, I mean, Costa, this is the, this Rui is Patricio is probably yeah. Like uh, there's a uh, there's the boy. <laughs> Awkward man. Like hey, say boy. say hi to me. Hey, hi. Oh. Like the that, way, it's like the that. way Ronaldo like is shocked and just stuck there. Because I'm pretty sure you told him like that's fucked up or some shit like that. Like. I said hi to you. Yeah, yeah. Don't and worry the way he it. looks back. Yeah. And like, I think there's something <sighs> off with the boy. Like, that's it though. Like, because Ronaldo got to there, Bruno Fernandez's play went down. And I think some of the players that Ronaldo was talking about, we'll get to. One of them might might have been Bruno Fernandez. Maybe, maybe. Uh, you have Dalot on. <laughs> this, this defense is not bad. You got Dalot. You got Cancelo. You oh, got okay. Pereira. Cancelo. Uh, Pepe, 39-year-old Pepe también. That's like, wild. Ruben Diaz, really good. Antonio Silva. Nuno mm -hmm. Mendes, very, very young left back. Like, if you can start Mendes and then Cancelo on the right, that'd be great. You have Guerrero come, maybe coming off the bench. Midfielders, you have Palinha. Ruben Neves, solid, solid center mid. Yep. Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes, Joao Mario. I mean, he's an experienced player. You got Nunes, Vitinha, William Carvalho, 
and Octavio. No uh, Renato Sanchez in this line, in this call up. That's still a solid Portugal. midfield. It, re- it really is. And then you have Forward. Ronaldo, Joao Felix, my bad boys. Uh, okay. Rafael Leao, Ricardo Horta, Don Carlos Ramos, and Andres Silva. Guedes didn't get a call up, and but it's still very, very strong up on yeah. top as well. So. They, they can do some. They can do some language. All right. Um, bless you. Me? You, yeah. I didn't sneeze. Oh no! I was just I was reading the names of. Salud. Thank you. Soy como destornudo. Oh. Los nombres. Human Song. Human Song FC. There you go. Hermano coreano, ya eres mexicano. Hermano coreano, ya eres mexicano. God bless him. Uruguay. Uh, Muslera, uh, goalkeeper forever. Been the last three World Cups. Started really young. Um, Ronald Araujo, defender for uh, Barcelona. This guy made an incredible comeback with this injury. Like, yes. for him to be fit for the World Cup, yeah, it was impressive. Uh, Varela, a good defender <laughs> there. Uh, Jose Maria Jimenez of... Uh, fame of Atletico Madrid alongside Diego Godin. Uh, you also have Cáceres who used to play at Juventus. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, midfielders, Torreira. Really good. Vecino. Good. Betancur for Tottenham. Good. Uh, I said by Federico Valverde is a star in this team. Second best, best team. Goal, midfielder in the world right now. Um, Belestri is a young color from United. He's very young. There's it's two impressive. names named Facundo. <laughs> Facundo Torres. And Facundo Belestri. Belestri. Uh, Luis Suarez, Darwin Nunez, Maximiliano Gomez, and Edison Cavani. Darwin Nunez can save with the pace up on top. The lack of pace that Cavani and Suarez will provide, but Darwin Nunez is probably one of the fastest players in the world right now. So, yeah. Uruguay can do damage for sure. But those are the rosters. And now we can get into our World Cup brackets, Tony. Because. That was really it. Wow. Dope. What? That was really it. Dope. Yeah, you didn't think we were going to get through all the teams or what? Yeah, it was, it was yeah, wow. Um, but yeah, so we have... We'll you want to show your bracket first? I will or show mine? my bracket. Um, so just fair warning, be be kind to me. Um, because I, th- I took a lot of thought and consideration <laughs> into this. And and, and you guys are, are, are pretty, 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 pretty mean sometimes. But... Um, uh, here's here's my, here's my bracket, guys. Whoa! Uh, I have I have I know people now from from the U.S. of A. Um, and so I, I want to make sure that uh, yeah. So here's here's my bracket. Um, I have um Netherlands uh, f- versus France versus, versus, versus. So who did you have coming out of the groups? Uh, so I had Netherlands, England, Argentina, Denmark, Spain, Canada, Brazil, Portugal. The U.S. of A. Okay. Ecuador, France. USA winning. Saudi Arabia, uh, Belgium, uh, Germany, Uruguay, and Cameroon. Okay. From there, Netherlands uh, loses against England. Argentina beats Denmark. Spain beats Canada. Brazil beats Portugal. On the other side of the bracket, the U.S. beats Ecuador. France beats Saudi Arabia. Belgium beats Germany. And Uruguay beats Cameroon, leading to... Saudi Arabia in second. (laughs) <laughs> leading to uh, Cameroon beating Belgium. <laughs> the wow. United States beating France. Wait, Other dude, side, what are you doing? England loses to Argentina. Spain loses to Brazil. Chad's saying, what the fuck Brazil. am I looking at? Spain loses to Brazil. Then you have Argentina and Brazil. Semi-final. In the semi-final, Brazil winning that one. Cameroon beating the U.S. No, the U.S. beating Cameroon. The U.S. beating Cameroon. The U.S. versus Brazil in the World Cup final. What fuck kind of bracket is in this? In the World Cup final. Do you guys approve of in this bracket? In the World Cup final. Do you guys approve of this? The, like, you final, approve the of this? USA will make it all the way and barely by do, two goals. Do you guys see this? Do you, do you guys think the person that... Barely. No, Tony, does barely. Tony know anything about soccer here? Barely. Let's see what the people here are saying. The fuck am I looking at six one nine soccer say? Yeah, uh, you got. I mean, I agree with that. Oh, yeah, that's not your bracket, boys. Not my bracket. That's homie. not your bracket. It's not my. Bracket. Whose bracket is that? This bracket that I was just reading is none other than San Diego Loyal's own Landon Donovan. Oh no, <laughs> Landon! Landon Donovan has Landon. the U.S. going to the final. He has Cameroon in you the have, semifinal. You have you have kept your mouth quiet for international soccer for this, and now he's going to Qatar. You're on your way to Qatar. He put an ad on Instagram saying, "Very been, never been busier than ever." The 
fuck you mean? We're in busy during the season, I guess. Yikes. Yikes. Is this it? Is this the end of Landon Donovan in San Diego? <laughs> oh, he's, he's packing his stuff. He's packing his stuff. Where'd it go? Maybe that's why it was a downfall at the end for Loyal. Like... <laughs> he he just he was just too busy getting ready for Qatar, you know. Uh, too busy for something. Uh, yeah, but yeah, this show is us his, your real bracket. This is this shit. This is his world key. I mean, this is Landon, shit. You really think Saudi Arabia is going to come out in so, second place? Is so Saudi Prince funding Loyal's m- <laughs> possible move into MLS? Is that is wow? That, I'm sorry, Egypt's not in it, so I guess he <laughs> just went for you know somewhere else, dude. So what's going to be funny if it? This is somehow accurate, and we're like, oh, shit, this guy is a fucking soccer genius, which I hope so, because then it'd be like, oh, it's Landon Donovan. That makes sense. Uh, don't tell me I know more about teams hey, than you. Yeah. But. Hey, bro, Mexico's your second team. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, so this isn't yeah. my bracket at all. My What's bracket, bracket is right here. Okay. <coughs> so. Still got Brazil. You, you, you and Landon agree with the I winner. Landon wow. agree. Wee, 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 wee. Uh, <laughs> Netherlands. Versus U.S. Netherlands wins that one. Argentina, Denmark, Argentina. Germany, Croatia. Germany wins that one. Brazil, Uruguay. Brazil wins that one. Other side of the bracket. You got England versus Senegal. England winning that one. Mexico versus France. France. Mexico going second. France going first. No llegamos al quinto partido. We do not get to the wow. quinto partido. Wow. We do not get. We'll get out of the group stages. We do not get out of the. Which for this team would be an accomplishment. You should probably put on a just sweater, boy. You're freezing. Okay. Um, I'm freezing too, actually. I'm on la selección. Um, uh, <laughs> my side of the bracket continues with Belgium and Spain. Spain winning that one and Portugal beating Switzerland. Spain losing to Portugal. England beating France. France is in a meltdown. I almost had them not leaving the group stages. Wow. I, I, wow. I, I almost That's had them not leaving the group stages. Take. It's either they're going to be first or they're not going to make it. They're not going to be second. Like, it's just... Wow. France is, 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 is going to have a meltdown once again. That's crazy. Semi-final, That's England, Portugal. Take. That's going to be great. Ronaldo versus the Premier League, essentially. <laughs> uh, Argentina, Brazil. That's just going to be a shit show. And I love it. Uh, Brazil winning that one. Brazil versus England in the final. England, once England again, again, losing. In the final for losing. It's not tournament. coming home. It's not coming it home. It never will be. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil will win the World Cup okay. in Qatar 2022. This could happen. I can see it. You have some wild takes, but you kind of need that. Uh, this is mine, guys. So like, you know what? I'm going to be very hopeful here. <laughs> Imaginemos cosas chingonas. Let me give my reasoning and my, like, here we go. I got Netherlands and the U.S. U.S. going in second, right? I got Mexico against Denmark. I got Mexico winning the group. If we manage to beat Poland and Argentina, like, we're winning that group. It's doable. I doubt it. Let me fucking dream, all right? Hear me out. The Simpsons have made this prediction, so hear me out. Uh, Mexico against Denmark. Germany against Canada. I got Canada going in second place in that group stage. Brazil against Uruguay. On the other side, you got England against Senegal. France against Argentina. Argentina going in that second. Belgium, Belgium against Spain, and Portugal, Serbia. So I have Netherlands advancing over the U.S. Mexico beats Denmark. Germany beats Canada, of course. Brazil beats Uruguay. They should be doing that. England beats Senegal. Argentina beats France. I don't think France go to the quarterfinals here. It is freaking cloudy. I'm going to put my sweater right now. Uh, you got Belgium beating Spain. Portugal beating Serbia. And then the quarterfinals, I got Mexico beating Netherlands. It's a rematch from the Mexico's beating Netherlands in the quarterfinals, Tony. He's just walking in. Mexico's going to beat Netherlands. No era penal. Chinga su madre. Los de Holanda. Me pelan toda la mera. Mexico goes to the semifinals. Brazil beats Germany. This is another payback match. This is a revenge game. I like my bracket because of all these revenge games. Brazil, they remember that 7-1 game, and they beat Germany. I almost cried in that game. England against Argentina. Yeah. Soccer. Oh yeah. Just the death of fun in oh, soccer. Oh yeah. The machine. The mind. Everyone was looking forward to that game, and it was the just mind shaft. Dude, it was crazy. Argentina <sighs> against England. Argentina advance. England. I think they're still young. I can't see England getting to the final with Maguire on there, especially if he's starting. I'm sorry. I just can't. I don't like Trent Alexander 
Arnold either as a right back, and I think they're going to end up starting him. I got Portugal beating Belgium. I think this is the end of that golden generation. And look at this semifinals. You got Portugal against Argentina, Messi against Ronaldo to get to a World Cup final. What else do you want? <sighs> semifinals, fine. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, this is great I'll already. Be, if they match this up, is great. I'm happy with it. I have Portugal winning. Then you got Mexico against Brazil. Brazil es cliente, papá. Brazil, sí, sí. We can beat Brazil. No problem. We go to the final against Portugal and we turn this Simpsons prediction right and Mexico <laughs> win the World Cup. We're gonna, it's going to happen. We're going to have Ricardo Campos, the president of San Diego Loyal. It's going to happen, Tony. And, uh, I you want know you, you to, love the I Simpsons. Want, I want you to tell him to his face that this is going to happen and that and we, so oh. que son clientes. If this happens, a thousand dollar bet. I'm gonna put my sweater on because it is cold. It is cold. Thousand dollar bet uh, for the. To see, I mean, first it has to happen, right? Like first it has to happen. Yeah. Um, but I mean, what do you guys have? You guys made this uh, bracket? I guess if you win, if you get it right, right? Like you get a thousand, you know, million dollars or something like. <sighs> the chances of that very very low. Um. But with that said, let us know what your World Cup brackets are. If you agree, disagree with us. If you agree with Landon Donovan's, then let me have whatever the fuck you're smoking. Because um, Landon is, I don't know. I, I want to ask him about that. Hey, wait, get pedo. What's wrong with you? Yeah, Landon, what the fuck, dude? That's a very, I mean, I, is he trying to be like, <laughs> this might be worse, mine, than Landon's? I agree. 100%, dude. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, my bracket is worse than Landon's, and I'm not over here talking shit. But you know what? If Mexico win the World Cup, I don't want to just see you celebrating, all right? Yeah, you, you don't get you doubter. Don't, yeah. You hater. Yeah. Hater. Oh, man. That was funny. Uh, that wraps it up for the World Cup. It starts next episode. We'll be talking about the Monday games we'll and we'll be talking and, about and, the Sunday yeah, game. Yeah, Qatar versus And we're going to be previewing Mexico's game against the Poland. The day after. Oh, my God. <sighs> Let the prayers begin. I think we're going to have to start dropping short clips about every game every week. Browns keys. Yeah, we're going to be. We're, we're gonna try to do that. Time-wise, hopefully, we just <laughs> out of work, we head over here and just talk about it 20 minutes wow. maybe. That'd be cool. Shit, I've been telling you to do that the whole time. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, the Community COVID World Cup. Oh, uh, yes. so we're bringing it back for those that may not be aware. Uh, let's see, community COVID shield. It can't. No, nobody else on YouTube probably has that. Probably not. What, what's going on? Here we go. So the community COVID shield is coming back up. Uh, this was a. Tw- oh my God! Who is that? Oh no! <laughs> what is that? So yeah, yeah. So what are you talking about? Community COVID shield. What is what? That thing. What thing? Oh, this, this talking one. about the background. Uh, talking about you, buddy. Oh All no! Right. We, um, so we did have these this tournament. Oh shit! Last time that was Bradley. Bradley with the ball. La caricia, la toma, <laughs> That's you, bro. You sound like you're in pain, Lisa. <laughs> you sound like you're talking shit. Did you say you sound like you're in pain? <laughs> you sound like you're in pain, bro. <laughs> I was. I was. La caricia, la toma, la viene. You sound like you're in pain, Lisa. <laughs> Josie Altidore has been everywhere in this tournament. Uh, he was everywhere that match. Uh, I, I, Toronto I, I, I could barely talk, dude. That's uh, crazy. Hey, congratulations to you. Uh, uh, but the Community COVID Shield is coming back. Uh, essentially, it is uh, simulated. Uh, oh, no. Change that. FIFA. Take that shit off. Ruined the entire show. <laughs> no laughing matter. Yeah, actually, it looked better than I, th- than I remember. <laughs> this, is, this is the magic. Uh, so, yeah. So, there's going to be a World Cup jersey online. Uh, 16 people, 16 teams. Uh, we kind of came down to 16 teams that we think should be making the round of 16. Uh, it's computer versus computer. Honestly, you just sit back and relax. We're going to do commentary for every single one of these matches. It's a lot funnier. Virtual uh, matches. Yeah, we try to make this super entertaining and funny. We usually drink while we do this as well. Yeah, it's going to get messy. Uh, but, yeah, so we do have uh, our... 16 members. Me and Tony decided... Tony, Tony and I... And I Decided to have our own team this time <laughs> because I'm a jinx and Tony hates being team team, team 
Anything that has oh, to do with you. Sorry. Sorry, listeners. Uh, but let me tell you the people that are in it. Uh, so we have some boys that we know. The boys. We have some uh, people representing San Diego Loyal. San Diego Loyal. Uh, and then we got, I mean, you and I. But we have Brandon Rodriguez, the boy. Costa Rica. He's in our fantasy Tico. league. A lot of these people are actually in our fantasy league. Mm. Corbin, the boy in England right now in London. Uh, Child Prodigy is in it. J Pap, he's our boy. He's been he's been a loyal listener since day one as well. Uh, we got Nelson Kender, uh, Prodigy, uh, Bridge Marcotta, Marcotta, Prodigy. Prodigy. He, he, pass the just, fucking ball, dog. Just like, just just stay still, and he's not gonna juke you. <laughs> you got the boy Javi. Javi, probably one of our day one listeners. Day one, homie. Like, he's a real one. Yeah, he's a real one. We bro. got Kyle Smith as well. Kyle Sam Smith. Sam at Evans. Sam Adams. We got Adrian the fool. Hey, what's up, fool? What's up, fool? Hey, one check only. out. Hey, check out. Uh, Turkey, uh, drive? Turkey, turkey drive, turkey drive, drive turkey drive, turkey drive. Let, right? let us know who else, who else is in too. Uh, you got Mario Gonzalez. You got the boy Jesse Loera, really close friend of ours. Uh, he's in the Chavos, really dope dude. Uh, you got your boy David Ayala, the boy, uh, the boy, all made kinds. it in. Uh, we got Weston. Everyone knows and loves Weston, representing mm-hmm. San Diego Loyal. You may not know Roger. Roger is also a key part of that loyal team. All that uh, sweet merchandise. Merch, the guy. He goes through him, guys. And then you got Tony. And myself in this. Uh, so the way we're gonna do this before that, before that, real quick, real quick, yes. just shout Ooh, out yes, to uh, Chow is the loyal, uh, the fool. Uh, Thanksgiving under the bridge, Saturday, November nineteenth is coming up at noon, uh, twenty one seventy four Logan Avenue. Uh, if 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 you want to know where all the culture is, apparently according to half of the clubs here in San Diego, get down there and, and experience it for yourself. And if you know a family that may not be able to afford a turkey or family in need. Uh, they are going to be handing out and now turkeys, turkeys so canned food as well yeah. so get out there these guys are always representing the community it's good shit guys absolutely uh so yeah so without further ado we have those names already into a wheel so this is how it's going to work we're going to spin the name wheel that's going to be the person here. Yep. and then we're going to have the team wheel Boom. and that's going to be the team that you get absolutely once it's selected it'll be eliminated from the uh wheel do you have and somewhere to write this down? Yeah, I'm, I'm writing in on that. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I got right. you, boys. Come on, Sounds boys. Sounds good. All right, you want to start? Go ahead. All right, names or, or team first? Let's What's do names one? first. Names first. The first name to be selected for the COVID Community Cup World Cup is... Kyle Smith. Not Kyle oh, Smith. Oh, no, Sam Evans. Sam Evans. We're going right. to remove Sam Evans. Sam Evans, your team. By the way, these are all 85 rated. Oh, yeah, they're all they're even. all the same. Everybody's even, Does all he right? Get... He's going to go ahead and go with the heart attack kid. Denmark, yeah. Denmark taking off Again, the board. They're all rated 85. So Don't it's worry. Even it's not, not across not, the board. Yeah, it's not, it's not mismatched like that. All right, so that's the first team all of the board. How are you gonna? How are you gonna put them in the brackets as they come? Is the matchup? Uh, we'll see. We'll figure it out. All right, we'll figure we it out. We got Weston. Weston, the boy Weston. Weston. We'll get the team of. Ooh, Spain. Spain, probably Spain. Weston yeah. is gonna get the young boys in Spain. By the way, we're just gonna update with the most current update. Hopefully, it's well, the FIFA World 23 Cup. has the World Cup thing, so hopefully oh. it's the rosters. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hopefully it's the rosters. Uh, all right, we so don't control starting lineups or anything like that. We do not control maybe that. for the final. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Who's next? All right, we have Mario Gonzalez. Mario Gonzalez. Mario Gonzalez. Remove him. Mario Gonzalez is gonna go ahead and have the you team. Have Saudi Arabia on there. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. There it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's Saudi Arabia Senegal. supposed to be? Is that Senegal? Yeah, right. E- e- yes, that is Senegal. Who's Saudi Arabia supposed to be? Uh, We're missing a team then. Ba, 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 ba. If you get Saudi Arabia, France is there. You get to pick whoever you want. That oh, isn't. You can just throw in Saudi Arabia. It's fine. Fuck it. Saudi Arabia it is. No, well, yeah. Eight, uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Mario Gonzalez got Senegal. Who do we get? Who do we get? Jesse. Jesse, Jesse Loera, the boy. Jesse Loera. Gonna go ahead and get himself the team. Mexico still up for crafts. Come on. That's mine, boy. That's mine. Looks oh, like the, Netherlands. the Netherlands. Netherlands. Awesome. Nice. It's not a bad team. 
Ajá, no era penal. Well, but he's going to hate that. No era penal. I'm trying to figure out which team we're missing. I know. Uh, let us know if you guys can see in the chat which team we're missing. All right. The spinny wheelie thingy is going. Corbin. Corbin. Corbin, Who you are going to go ahead and get. I think we're missing Germany. Germany's on there. there. The team of. Belgium? Argentina? Ooh. Looks like Belgium. 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 That seems appropriate. Oh, I can see right that. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah, of course. All right. Yes, that is Corbin. Let's see. All right. Javi? Javi. All right. Let's see who Javi is going to get. Who do you want, Javi? Do you want Mexico? Don't tell me you want Mexico. Looks like you're going to get them. No, you're going to get France. France. Bon la vous France. Viva la France. Viva le bleu. I, surre I surrender. Oh, you know, you love that. You like that. I, I know that. Yeah, okay, I like that yeah. you know that. Uh, respect. Of course. I speak French. I surrender. <laughs> That's great. Let's see who's next. I'm trying to still figure out Saudi Arabia. Like, <laughs> I know. J-Pabs. J-Pab. J-Pab. You're going to go ahead and get the team of... I want to forward a child. Oh, yesterday. we're missing the US. All right, so that's so we'll that's, that's gonna be the US. That's the Saudi US. Arabia's gonna be the US. <laughs> Who got it? No, J Pab, you J -Pab. got USA. Ooh, us, uh, ooh, us, uh. Sorry, that's it's just, we're missing. It's because Landon chose Saudi Arabia. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little confusing. So you know? It's a little confusing. A little confusing. Javi won the France. Did he get France? How did he get France? Javi got France. And he won it France. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Tony, Ooh. who's Tony getting? Ooh. Ooh, who am I going to get? Come on, Not Mexico. Mexico. Not Mexico. Come on, Mexico. I hope you get Argentina. You hate Argentina. I hate Argentina so I hope much. You get Argentina. Brazil. Brazil, it's meant to be. Yeah. You're going to win it. I'm going to win this. You got your boys. Oh, this is amazing. This is great. Wow, that's dope. That's, that's, that's destiny. so dope. That's destiny. That means you're getting Mexico. I hope so. <laughs> Danny? The, 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 the Danny? Danny. The, 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 the Danny. Let's see who the boy Danny gets. Danny. I hope he doesn't get Mexico because he probably wants Mexico. He's going to get Mexico. <sighs> no, it's Germany. Yeah, Germany, yes. Yeah, Germany. Germany. That's Mannschaft. <laughs> El Chucky Lozano. All right, remove Danny. Down to the final seven. The, the wheel speeds. The wheel speaks 50 feet away from the door. Adrian, what's up, fool? Oh, I bet you he gets Uruguay. Uruguay. Oh, no shot. Uruguay. Uruguay, yeah, that's crazy. Uruguay. That's wild. That is wild. I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket right now. All right. The fool. It's Uruguay. Why have Ooh, I not been picked? Uruguay. You're going to be last watch. Yeah. Kyle. Kyle Smith. Kyle Smith. Please don't get Mexico. Kyle Smith. I'm nothing against you, but I Kyle you get Mexico. Smith is going to get the team Canada. of. Serbia? Portugal? Looks like Portugal. Serbia. Portugal. Serbia. Ugh, Serbia. Serbia. All right. Serbia. Milenko Savage. All right. All right. Five teams left. I have hope. I have hope. I'm gonna be Ooh, Davis. Last. He's gonna get Argentina watch because he likes Diego Milito. Looks like it's Ooh. gonna be England. England? Portugal? England. England. It's more England. England. England it is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? You can pick that. It's not you. Come on. Ah. <laughs> oh, Brandon. Oh, oh it's, sorry, it's, we didn't put it. You know what? Damos los picos. If he, if if you want Brandon and you let us know, that means you're. If listening. you get Canada, I'll let you switch it for ticos because it's Concacaf. If you get Canada, anything else? I'll switch it with Mexico for Canada. For Making ticos. deals now. Nah, nah, nah. It's as we go, Brandon. Sorry, Costa Rica is not going through. Is he even on here? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're on. No, there. like. Chat? Oh, I don't think he's on the chat. Chinga tu pitch. Brandon oh! with Mexico. No. Mexico is going to Brandon. No. Chiva, you're still on there with Nelson. And Roger. Roger, Roger is going to go ahead and be next. 
<laughs> one in Mexico. You're gonna get Canada. Oh, if I can get Ronaldo. Sweet. That'd be dope. No, you're not. No. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can get Messi. Wait, who was this? This was uh, Roger. Roger. Roger gets uh, Portugal. Portugal. Down to the last two, Nelson and Chiva. Hey, that's disrespectful. Yes. Chiva. Yes. Give me Messi. Please give me Messi. I mean, I'll take Davis, but give me Messi. Give last two me is Messi. Canada and Argentina. Give me Messi. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, has to be. Yes, yeah, has to be. Yes. Woo. Chiva, you get Argentina, which means oh, Nelson yeah. gets Canada. Canada. I like that Brandon has to root for Mexico. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I yeah, really yeah. do. <laughs> Take that. Uh, all right. So Again, that- remember, we're going to fill out the brackets. Uh, we'll probably put the teams and then randomize it in FIFA. I'm pretty sure we can do that. If not, we'll randomize it ourselves. Yeah. Uh but yeah, congrats. You guys are the ones in our community COVID World Cup. And the winner gets a World Cup jersey of their choosing. Sponsored by Jersey Loco. Oh, Jersey Loco. Ah, okay, Cafino. Jersey Loco. Um, cool. So shout out to everybody there. Uh, that was interesting. Oh, Toro Fuerte, you told me who you were. You said you went to Argentina. Now I know who you are. Toro Fuerte, you messed up. Yeah, done goofed. Yeah, the you boy done beef goofed. And boo sold. Uh, all right, big money, big money. Oh, so Javi did want France, as you were saying. Interesting. Yeah, no, That's he got wonderful. it. That's great. That's wonderful. All right, guys. Want to trade? Can't trade. <sighs> we got to talk about the elephant in the world of soccer right now, which is Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Appearing in a random Rooney interview with Beron. Pierce Morgan. Arsenal boy, Pierce Morgan. That's what pisses me off the most. That's wild. He goes to an Arsenal fanboy. He goes to a judge from God's Talent. He was actually a good judge on there. He was a really good judge. He was a really good judge on there. He said, I've always known. No, dude, I no, I thought I knew, and then now I confirmed it. But the other two or three guys there around the club. (sighs) At the Uh, senior executive level. Yes. That I felt betrayed. And Uh, you think they're trying to get rid of you? Honestly. I should don't say that, I don't know, but listen, I, I don't care. I'm always, people should listen to the truth. Yes, I feel betrayed. And I felt that some people that don't want me here, not only this year, but last year too. I don't know what's going on, but since, since the, um, Sarah Alex Ferguson left, I saw no evolution in the club. The progress was zero. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. Agree too. there. Yes. The thing about his daughter, and then not taking it seriously, but taking it seriously, but to give him the time, it was, now it's weird. At the it, same, it goes back the, to being at, empathetic to your staff. Yeah, and you know, like these are the players are the team staff. Mm-hmm. Like right, they're they're them, they get paid for it, and you got to be empathetic to them. You got to treat them right. And this was something very personal to him. They didn't treat him right. He even talks about Liverpool fans doing a minute of silence for him, for his kid, like. Damn, talking shit about the fans. I mean, it's scorched earth at this point. Like he's yeah. just, he's not coming back. Like uh, he's just I don't not think there's any back. way he comes back after this World Cup to Menu. How the club as Manchester United after suck um, Ole, mm-hmm. they buy they bring sport directive Ralph Regnick, which is something that nobody understands. This guy is, is not even a coach. Ooh, shit. A bigger club like Manchester United bring sport directive surprise not only me but all the world. You know, nothing change. Surprisingly, not only the pool, the jacuzzi, <laughs> even the gym. Even- you know what this reminds me of? What you know this that where he's like like and he goes on to like oh even the kitchen staff like this and this and that like they're wonderful people. Um, this gives me this vibe. What type of life? Okay. No, we don't have a jacuzzi. Can you believe that? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that boy's wilding now. You know, we don't have a jacuzzi. Man, you right now. Can you believe that? We don't Can you believe j- we don't have a jacuzzi? You should tweet that because that would go viral. 
okay. We need something to go viral. Okay, Let, let's do that right now. You know, I'm going to play it again, too. Can you believe that? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? The Ronaldo <laughs> Manchester United. <laughs> Uh, you have to screen record it and just drop the video because and if you put the link, it's not really the same. Okay, boy, we'll do it later. We'll it's later. fine. If somebody copies our tweet, we're coming after you. <sighs> we're coming for you. Uh bro. but yeah, dude, Reds, don't wait. Ronaldo's coming back to United after this World Cup. Hey, whoa, hey, tranquilo, viejo. The Eagles lost. We'll get to it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Premier League, there was some game. What's going on with Chelsea? Let's talk about Chelsea for a little bit. Chelsea has a, again, there's a sport director that comes in. He's a new manager. He shocked the world. Um, Tuchel should have stayed. Graham Potter is in over his head. Uh, the team Harry is, Potter. Is, is, is in shambles. Kante, Kintabe, there's injuries every, everywhere. You guys are in eighth place right now. Yeah, it's not good. Hey, guess what? We're going to win the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's going to be A-OK. Everything's going to get fixed with that. Yeah. No, it always happens. Like, just. There's no way you guys we'll win the Champions League. We'll be 12th place. League. There's no way you guys win the Champions League. That's what you said last time we won the Champions League. And I kept telling everybody and, that we were going to yeah, win the Champions League. And guess what? This time it they won happen. the Champions League. So it won't happen. They won the Champions League. It won't happen. There's no way. But, dude, yeah, like, uh, you guys are playing very depressing football. Like, it is sad. Uh, you guys lost to who? Newcastle. I mean, Newcastle. Newcastle by the doing way, pretty good. He's doing top really, three. Really good. Like, what is he doing? Uh, yeah. Newcastle's ending the break in third place, thirty points. Only one loss this season. That's impressive. Even Man City has two losses. Yeah, no, it, it's it's pretty sick what they're doing. Again, not a lot of big name signings. They got bought out, but they're doing pretty well. Like they're doing pretty well. I mean, they, they spent about really... two hundred millions. Like. Yeah, but I mean, it's like it's not like two hundred. I mean, for you can see the difference. It's worth. It's good money being invested. It is. It's working. Whatever they're doing, it is working. So shout out to Newcastle. You had Manchester City losing to Brentford in the ninety eight minutes. See, I feel like that was re- revenge for that game that they almost should have tied against and they, Fulham. Yeah, and they won. And they got a right. Yeah, at the exactly. End. Like, like that's that's ball don't ball lie. Ball never shit. lie. Uh, ball never tricky. lie. Uh, never ever. Ever lies. Um, that's funny. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I can't oh. believe I just said that, but whatever. Uh, We're moving anyway, on. We're cutting that on. off. Nakagas. <laughs> See what you made me say? Nakagas. Oh, te odio. Actually, we learned because that's actually a pastry. Our, co- our new co worker was telling us that. It's a it's Filipino pastry. Yes, actually, yeah, so that's what I said. That's what was the top of mind. <laughs> he, that, that, that boy gave me a Tocino Spam. Are you going to eat it? Yeah. I'm going to try it. Oh, man. Oh, uh, you're going to break everything. Oh, you're going to break everything? You're going to break everything? But yeah, so... Oh, we're going to actually talk about the, if it's if going to be a big deal in the World Cup. Will, will Mexican fans do the chant? Like... They? I don't think they will. Uh, Qatar will start applauding. A uh, Qatar will not let the Mexicans leave and say, "Please, buddies, tell us your secrets." And yeah. Um, by the way, that was a not a Qatari individual. That was just, you know, you yeah. you you put the shade of color of this individual. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> that's not me to yeah. you know, put in your mind. Uh, but, Arsenal. Uh, hello, Arsenal my won. name is Abdul, and I uh, I cherish what you've done here, Mexico. Good friend, buddy, buddy. Have some shawarma. <laughs> I've never had shawarma. It's good. It's, it's, it's good. I need to have it. Buddy, buddy. Sell it here. Uh, there's actually a place on Main Street. Shawarma place? Uh, shawarma place. Um, nice. You know where on Main Street where Kiko's, uh, Marisco's used to be by the trolley tracks? Yes. Main Street on the right. There used to be the Santa Claus. There used to be a gym there. Aida, you know, it's called uh, okay. Secret Shawarma. Really Seeker good. Sharma. Got it. It's really good. Um, okay. Maybe this weekend. Uh, uh, Arsenal are fin- finishing the break, top of the table, five points. Yeah, no. See. <laughs> see. Stupidos. <laughs> uh, toast. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. And then you have Manchester United, the boy Alex- Alejandro Garnacho. Let me tell you about this kid. 
What is going on with Garnacho, boy? He's he's a generational talent. Okay. He is the future of United. A future. He's a beast. Ended up scoring another goal. A late winner. He's a beast, dude. I'm so happy. We have a future. I don't care what Ronaldo's saying. We're back. By the way, Piquet retired before Shakira could have... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. That was 10 years ago? Oh, wow. Don't play it because it gets shut The down. Zlatan super midfield bicycle kick. That they 10 scored. years ago. Wow. Wow. Yikes. I was 15 when I first... That's going to have to deal with that. Hasn't quite done so. Ibrahimovic. Surely not. Oh! <laughs> that was insane, dude. Just a lot of Now that is brilliant. Wow. Oh, man. I wish he would have been in the World Cup. Not one. He's retired anyways. But um, is he, though? From the national team. He, oh, from the retired. national team. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's retired. Um, but, yeah, so that's coming. Premier League, everything's on, on everything's hold. Everything's on hold, on hold for a whole month. And it's fine. For the World, uh, world But you know world, what world isn't on hold? That is actually overseas, and they played at the Allianz Arena. What? Ric Flair. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. They played in Germany. They played so in Germany. I'm to make the connection a little slow, like Alliance Arena. Okay. See, güey. Poquito. Pero no hay pedo. Nadie se agüita aquí, raza. Uh, <laughs> es que se agüita se fuera. Me cancelaron, güey. <laughs> uh, yikes. ¿Cuánto quedaron? 32-21. Holy shit. One. I'm not happy about that. Um, but wow, yeah, you so guys suck. You guys suck. Let's start. Let's just start with our league. Okay. Let's start with the league. Because we suck too. Because we definitely suck. We lost to Danny. God damn it. We lost to Danny. All right. It's two balls uh, lost this week, and we lost against the, the Dan, Dan, the our man. Our team just Dan didn't dimes. perform. This is what happened. Our team just didn't perform. See what happened? What? Uh, we had some players on bye week. Uh, Jalen Waddle just didn't do much. Uh, no, we're we're coming back. We're gonna bounce back. We're good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not scared. Are oh, you worried about that? Shouldn't be. I'm the one that said it. Okay. Tranquilo, viejo. Hey, tranquilo, viejo. Okay, boy. <laughs> La pela. Oh, double down on everything. <laughs> you can't. You can't associate just in case. ¿Quién es los? <laughs> no, no, no. Pela. <laughs> Do yeah. Do uh, uh, ah, porque soy. <gasps> <laughs> uh, I have Cade York, uh, the boy Corbin, beating uh, SD Fleet, who uh, Weston forgot to put his lineup in. He forgot That's, to edit. He was pissed. I, I was talking to him. He yeah. was very upset. Yeah. Two of his players didn't play. I don't think it would have made a difference, though. It wouldn't have. Yeah, it wouldn't have. Uh, moving in. Tepicoloyo. Winning. He won by 0. 0.4. That's embarrassing for you, mini bikes. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, scary wow. Terry. By scary Terry. Four, scary putting Terry putting up 20.8 yeah. points. Look at that. Good job. Christian Kirk, 31 he's points. Just, he's just wrecking stuff now. He's just, he's not, yeah, there's he's no spoiler. point. He's playing spoiler. Just, uh, I love that. Infierno Demonio is beating uh, the Fool Fool, who started really well, but started coming started down. down yeah. uh, Low scoring match there. Uh, finally, somebody would have put a stop to uh, Chris, Chris. What happened? Chris. I think his team just didn't perform. I mean, if Tyler Higby's your second highest scorer, that says a lot. Shout out to you, uh, J. Pabs, Miguel's Revenge, uh, kicking bass, uh, winning again. Just, just there's three running backs: Dalvin Cook, Barkley, and Wilson. Over 20 points each. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a solid solid week for you. Definitely kicking bass, winning against CSI Hernandez. Tony Pollard not being able to get it done. The boy Brandon, man, he's Justin Fields okay. another 40 point game. That's wild. That's Crazy that man, he has a good team. Wild. Wow. Uh, moving on forward, we have next week. We play Weston next week. Do we really? Yes, I have a bet with him. Side bet. What's a side bet? A such. Oh hell yeah! All kinds of such. Jesse Beltran versus Corbin. I feel like we've seen this before. Um, <laughs> Corbin yeah. should be winning that one. Infierno Demonios versus Fabian again. Playing spoiler. Anything can happen. I'm, I'm yeah. on Team Fabian. Me too. The Pico Loyo. Me pico, too. Pico, the pico boy. Loyo a todos. All kinds of the boy. Uh, Miguel Revenge against the Fu. Ah, Fu needs to get a win. Like, he needs he needs it yeah, for yeah, yeah. Uh, emotional purposes. Uh, Chris and 
CSI. CSI is is, is coming down to okay, earth. This is gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a good game. Because both of these boys watch on the like weekly. So. And then we have Brandon uh, still on that rise, uh, doing pretty well against Danny, who just got a win just, against yeah, us. Yeah, that's crazy. So, oh, bitch. <laughs> we got Weston. And we Bring got it the on, boy. Weston. Bring it on, Weston. Hey, if you forget to put your lineup again, that'd be great. I would not be upset at that. All uh, right. Let's look at week 10 for the Pickums, because I don't think I did too good this week. I'm pretty sure I beat you. We have the Falcons versus the Panthers. Uh, the Panthers winning that one against the Falcons on Thursday Night Football. Um, we both had the Falcons on this one. Yeah, we both lost Baker Mayfield that one. just surprised everyone again. Uh, again, the game in uh, Munich, uh, you have Tom Brady 2-0 and after the, the divorce. Luego, what a rock star. Esa, esa vieja is now seen with the now <laughs> City boys dude. up. Did you see that? Wait, Giselle's what? now like going out with somebody else already? Oh, she was cheating then. Damn. She makes more money than him. That makes me sad. Day city boys up <laughs> to uh, a no. back outside boys. <laughs> yeah, uh, you had the Bucks here. I had the Seahawks. I had the Seahawks. Uh, then we had the Bears versus the Lions. This was an insane game. Like literally, by one point, the Lions pulled it off. Again, Garrett the Lions play 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 hard. They're they're a do hard play hard team. Uh, we you had you one. had the Lions. I had the Bears. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Browns, Dolphins. We both had Dolphins. dolphins. Is, yeah. Both, we both had, dolphins. had Dolphins. Yeah. The Dolphins yeah. just dominated. They're a strong team this year for sure. Titans, Broncos. You had you had Russell Wilson. I don't know why you trusted the boy. I went with the Titans. The Titans ended up winning that. Vikings beating the Bills in the game of the season yeah. so far. Justin this is Jefferson. Crazy. Did you the catch right? Is that catch better than Odell Beckham Jr.'s? No, because Odell Beckham just caught it falling with three fingers. Had that defender not even touched that ball, I don't think he would have caught that because he, the defender, it, it's still a great catch, but I think all deals is still better. Kirk Cousins doing you, it again. You had the Vikings. I had the Bills. Yeah. What made me choose the Vikings? I don't know. I don't know why you chose the Vikings. I, oh, I, way I, as well. Oh, yeah. It was knowing. Hell yeah. Oh, because, no, Josh Allen, we didn't know about Josh Allen. No. You, you, just fe- you were feeling the Vikings. Wow. I felt them feeling myself. Giants. I think you said it's not a primetime game. I'm going Vikings. Maybe. That's yeah. what you might have said. Uh, Texans losing against the Giants. Giants are a good we team We both there. had Giants. The Giants mm-hmm. are they're, – they're winning games. That's all I can say. They're winning games. Saquon Barkley's back. Really good running back again. Chiefs against the Jaguars. This is uh, no surprise here. The Chiefs dominated 27-17. Christian Kirk put up fantasy numbers. If you had them, you probably won your league. Yeah. Or your week. Uh, the Steelers against the Saints. Uh – Oh, wait a second, Tony. You had the Saints. Probably. Yeah. That's great, actually. Did we tie? One, two, three, four, five, three. All right, keep going. Uh, yes. Colts, Raiders. I chose the uh, Colts. No, you went Raiders as well. Fuck. We both had the Raiders. Yeah, because Chuck Pagano wasn't fired. Mm-hmm. Damn. Imagine if that coach, what's his name? Like, the little Colts. Jeff Saturday. Imagine he just pops off with the Colts, goes undefeated. He right now has the highest winning percentage in NFL history amongst coaches, 100%. Has never lost a game? Yeah, never. And then we had the Rams versus the Cardinals. You win Rams for some reason here. I don't know, dude. They both play without the starting quarterback. The Cardinals just destroyed the Rams. Cooper Cup, hyperextended ankle or high ankle sprain, actually. Yikes. Uh, So he's out a couple weeks. Uh, I went Cardinals here. I went against the Rams here. He's and off. then we, uh, we both had the Cowboys against the Packers. Overtime, Aaron Rodgers just did it against the Cowboys. Yeah, um, Dak just isn't is, is garbage, trash. Cowboys Bring suck. Cooper Rush back. Cooper Rush. So we both had the Cowboys here. 49ers against the Chargers. We both had the 49ers. They yep. ended up winning. And then we both had the stinking Eagles. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We tied. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Yep. Rock, right. paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck. You take it. Oh, best out of three or just one? Oh, it's just one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what am I going to say best out of three for? <laughs> All right. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. It's fine. All right, cool. Next week, Texans, Packers, Thursday Night Football. Uh, Man. I'm going to go Titans. I'm not I'm not. I'm going to go Pack. I'm not buying. Go I'm not Pack, buying go. That. Go Pack, go. Um, Aaron Rodgers is back, guys. We'll see. Back from we'll Ayahuasca. Falcons, Bears, Falcons at home. The Bears. <sighs> I'm going to go Bears just because I like how Justin Fields is playing. 
I'm going to go Falcons. Okay. Eagles, Colts. Oh, shit. I, uh, I think you guys. Second straight loss. No. I'll, I don't think so. Colts. You're going to go Colts. Wow. You're going all home. I'm going all away. I love that. <laughs> shit. We have the Patriots against the Jets. Jets, another away team. <laughs> No, I think the Patriots win this one. I don't okay. think they just pull this off. Coming off the bye week, who are you going with here? Uh, I'm going to take uh, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. All right. We're going opposites in all of them so mm-hmm. far. Mm-hmm. Uh, Texans, Commanders. Nope. One of us is going to kick the other one's ass. Yeah. Texans, Commanders. Uh, commanders. The commies. The commies. Yeah, I'm going to go Commanders as well. I don't think Texans are any good at all. I- <sighs> No, you know what? I'm going to go Texans. Keep, okay. it, keep it against you. Uh, we got the Saints against the Rams. Rams away. No uh, Cooper Cup. Matt Stafford maybe comes back. Um, I don't know what's wrong. With uh, I, think we, I think we don't win against the Saints. I'm going to go Saints here. We suck. I'm sorry. We're not good. I'm going to go Rams. All right. Keep it, keeping it opposite. One of us is really yeah, going to kick yeah. ass. Uh, Bills, Browns. I'm going Bills. They don't Bills. go back to back. Yeah. yeah. This is the one we agree on. And they're at home again. Uh, Ravens against the Panthers. Ravens. Ravens, yeah. I don't think the Panthers have it. Uh, Giants-Lions. This is going to be a good game. Who, who Did you ever think we were ever going to say the Giants against the Lions is going to be a good game? Not since Eli Manning and Megatron. Um, I'm going to go Giants. I'll go with Giants, too. Broncos-Raiders. Oh, oh my God. AFC... <sighs> West. They both suck. I'm going to go Raiders, though. I'm just going to go Ra- uh, the Broncos. Yeah, Raiders. I have to go Raiders. Yeah. Russell's burning Vikings, me too much. Cowboys. Vikings. Vikings, yeah. Uh, I don't know. The Cowboys. They might win this one, but. Steelers, Bengals. The I'm Steelers going, are going to lose. I'm going Bengals, too. Yep. Uh, Joe Burrito's my boy. Chargers, Chiefs. Chiefs. Mm. Chief, Chief, Chief. Yeah, you're. Yeah. Chief, Keith. Wow, we just. The last, saw the last one we agreed. 49ers. 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 Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. The first, like, five yeah. three, of complete opposite, and then we agreed all the way. Uh, and that's those are the ones we're going to get wrong. But let's see, man. Uh, again, the loser of these pick is the one that buys the jersey for the Fantasy League winner. So Tony had to buy it last season just to remind everyone. Ooh. Al Chile, wey. Mexico. Gana el Mundial? No. Oh. Damn. Sorry, guys. Yikes. Mexico loses in the final. <laughs> in the final. Yeah, that All wouldn't right. be mad. That wouldn't well, be mad. this is the last episode before the World Cup starts. Yes. Wild. Wild happenings. Changes are coming. We're going to be live on Friday at 6 p.m., 6 to 9 p.m. with the Community COVID World Cup. We also have some interviews lined up in the near future. Stay tuned for that. Yep. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm excited, too. Starting the World Cup, we're going to be dropping probably, hopefully, maybe daily, covering each game. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm down for that. We'll let you guys know. We'll see you guys on Friday. Sounds good. Make sure you guys tune in for that. It's going to be fun. Bye.